Hi, Dennis Pennington, Michigan State University Weed Extension Specialist, out in the field here today to talk to you about how to assess winter wheat for frost injury. Okay, so when it comes to staging the wheat, you want to pull out an individual plant, and this particular plant has one main stem, and it's got one, two, and a third tiller starting to come here right there. Um, stage your main stem, so don't try to stage the tillers. So I'm just going to break these off here uh, to get down to here. Now, what you're looking for, what you're trying to feel for is these bumps or a node in, in the stem. So just run your, your thumb and your forefinger up the stem and you can feel a bump. And when I do that, I can feel one right here and then I feel a second one up here, but I don't feel a third one yet. So I have two nodes, which means if I had just one, it would be feet six. Two nodes means we're at feet seven. Uh, and the, the, where the head is, developing head is at in the stem is up here at the top of the uppermost node. So we're going to want to dissect this to identify and find where that is at, where the developing head is, um, and we're just going to kind of finish our staging discussion here. So we're going to strip these leaves back. What I'm looking for is the leaf that is attached to this bottom node, because that will be considered leaf number one. Um, and then there will be four leaves above it. The fourth leaf above it will be the flag leaf, which is the penultimate leaf, which is the last leaf out uh, before the head emerges. Uh, so if I strip this back, this uh, leaf right here is attached to this node. So this is leaf one, this is leaf number two, this is leaf number three, and then right there is your flag leaf just starting to emerge out of the whorl right here. So when we're staging this trying to identify um, damage uh, for frost, we, we want to uh, slice this open so that we can expose the head. So I'm going to slice this open on my leg here and then I'll explain what we're seeing inside the, the plant, or inside the stem. Okay, so um, I'll hold this stem open here, and down here at the bottom is our first node right here. And then there's what this is what's called the space in between these two nodes right here is called our inner node space. So this is node number two. This is what determines that this one is at feet eight or sorry feet seven. Um, and then the developing head is actually pushed up right here, and you can see the little teeny tiny spikelets on that head. This is what we got to make sure this remains viable after we have a freeze event. Typically in Michigan we don't have freeze events after the growing point or the head is this far above the soil surface. Usually once we get to um, where the head is just above the soil surface, we, we're usually at the end of our frost period. Uh, so what we're looking for is where this is, uh, the plant is, and on this particular one, if I lay this down in my hand, uh, the head is probably about four inches above the soil surface uh, at this point. So what's gonna be critical in diagnosing this one is how cold does it get and does it get down below freezing and does this head freeze uh, um, being that it's four inches above the soil surface. So uh, we'll have to wait for probably four to seven days after the freeze event uh, to come back and assess is this head okay or not. So in terms of assessing your field uh, for freeze damage, the bottom line is you gotta know how cold is it gonna get and then how, for how long is it cold and then you need to stage your wheat and identify where the growing point is, where is that developing head and how close is the soil surface uh, to really know how much risk you have for potential damage. Uh, we identified this uh, growth stage of wheat in this field. It's at feet seven, and that uh, developing head is about four inches above the soil surface. So if we have killing frost down to about four inches of, of, of height, uh, we could potentially have some damage out here. And, and wheat in this particular field is at risk of having some frost injuries. So we'll have to come back in about five to seven days to really identify what the kind of damage we had. Um, we can't determine that just yet, uh, but we will follow through with that and, and follow up with, with another video if we have uh, additional damage to assess.